Hello everyone. I brought an iconic book uh, for you today. The book is nothing but the story of my experiments with truth by Mahatma Gandhi. Well, this book is an iconic book I said because this book was written about 100 years before and Mahatma is known to everybody. Many people ascribe Mahatma as Masiha or uh, Harbinger of Peace, Father of Nation, and lovingly people call him Bapu. Well, Mahatma was a force rather. He was a force and he is a force even today. Mahatma has got hundreds of millions of uh, followers and believers. Equally, uh, he has got uh, people who disagree with him, if not equally, a good amount of people, even today, they disagree with his philosophy. So what is this Mahatma, the so-called Mahatma? You may have hundreds of documents and hundreds of reading materials, but then would you like to hear from him? What is that he wants to say? Would you not love to hear his own story? This is what, you know, this book would offer you. Mahatma wrote this book sometime in early 20s, about exactly about 100 years ago. And he was born in a family which was located in West Gujarat. And his father was a, a prime minister of a small region. When you talk about a prime minister, don't get confused with the, uh, the nomenclature of today's prime minister. He was a, a political official for a small region. And he has got three more siblings. And the story of Mahatma Gandhi starts with a humble beginning. And Mahatma, as a person, if you see, uh, like the title goes, my experiments with truth. Mahatma Gandhi is known for two things. One is Satya, Satyagraha. The other one is Ahimsa. What is Satyagraha? Satya, truth. The other one is Ahimsa, that is non-violence. So if you read this book, this book is uh, quite a big book. I took uh, a long time for me to read and assimilate and absorb. Uh, but then each and every chapter has or rather in reinforces the truth and ahimsa. Well, Gandhi has uh, never shied away from talking about his failures and uh, some of his misdeeds and misadventure. Everything he confesses in this particular book. Now, this is a very honest and open book where Gandhi himself reveals his mistakes, reveals his experimentation and everything. Like I said, he was born in a Western Gujarat family and then uh, he later uh, grew up in Ahmedabad and then he comes to England to become a barrister. Uh, he is not a very studious student as he I mean uh, mentions in this book but to me he looks like an above average student and he does quite well as a I mean uh, I mean in England and then he becomes a barrister, comes back to India. In Bombay, he uh, practices for a while and uh, not successful. He goes to his native place, Rajkot. He practices there, not very successful. That moment, he gets an opportunity to come to South Africa through one of the common friends for an Indian businessman who's doing business in South Africa. So Gandhi finds this as an opportunity. By the time, mind you, he got married and he has got a kid. So he leaves his family in Gujarat and he comes to South Africa and that is where the turning point happens. When Mahatma Gandhi comes to, then he was of course Gandhi, Garamchim Gandhi. Uh, when he comes to South Africa, he uh, had a sort of a, a rich life because he was a barrister, he beat his attire, his lifestyle. Of course he was a strong vegetarian and of course he's a teetotaler, he was a teetotaler. So, uh, he starts his life uh, with a stylish uh, way of living and that is where in one occasion he has been subjected to a sort of a harassment by one of the local uh, travelers in a train and then that was a turning point where he was uh, rather uh, thrown out. That is a episodical moment. I think most of the Indians and people in the world, they know he is thrown out of the first class and that made him to think and he wanted to fight from that day onwards 
for the people of South Africa, for the suppressed people of South Africa, for the suppressed people of Indians who were settled in South Africa. So South Africa has got a story where, uh, I mean, a lot of businessmen, they wanted to cultivate their land. So they wanted many Indians, endangered Indians to come to South Africa with a promise that they can work there for five years after that they can settle in South Africa. Now what happens after the five years are over, they were allowed to settle, but the appetite was, I mean, uh, too much. Uh, people, the Indian people, uh, especially the colored people were neglected, they were suppressed, they were taxed, and they were not even allowed to move out of the street beyond 9 p.m. So that was, uh, you know, I mean, the status or stage wherein Mahatma Gandhi happens to witness all these atrocities and he vows to fight against this uh, regime and then, then onwards he gathers a movement, a national movement in South Africa. And the journey continues for 20 years and Mahatma Gandhi's Sadhyagraha Sadhya, that is truth, and Ahimsa, uh, freedom struggle with uh, Ahimsa moment catches, it, it catches fire, it catches like wildfire. You know, many national leaders and international leaders are lewd or rather, you know, attracted by Mahatma Gandhi's Ahimsa, that is non-violence. Martin Luther King is one of the successful leader. He fought against slavery and appetite and racism, drawing the inspiration from Mahatma Gandhi. Nelson Mandela, a tall leader who fought against South African racial racism, who is a great, I mean, who was influenced by Mahatma Gandhi's ideology. And the list goes, even today, there are so many world leaders, they adore Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, Barack Obama could be another example. Why even some of the best scientists uh, Albert Einstein is a great follower of Mahatma Gandhi. So Mahatma Gandhi has influenced not only Indians, uh, the entire world. So now coming back to the story, he lives uh, 20 years in South Africa. He becomes a leader. He becomes a great leader. So that was the time he uh, was in contact with Gobal Krishna Kogle. Gopal Krishna Kogle was a mentor, senior, a sort of a father figure for Mahatma Gandhi. He is a, he was a great leader in India by then. By the time Gandhi was working, struggling or working for the freedom in uh, South Africa. So whenever uh, Gokhale comes to uh, South Africa, they meet each other. At one point of time, Gokhale summons uh, Gandhi to come to India. So when Gandhi comes to India, uh, he uh, lives, or rather he drops his western culture. He becomes a, a Tharav Indian, a true Indian with a symbol at hair, and he lands in Bombay, the now Mumbai. Now from here onwards, he participates in many, many moments and Mahatma Gandhi becomes so popular and becomes a cult figure. Today, uh, just to give you an example, Abdul, uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, uh, is a very popular figure among everybody. Similarly, Modi is also in many parts of the India, he becomes popular. I would rather say during those times, during 1910-1920, Gandhi was a cult figure. His popular was uh, 100 times than these figures, these personalities. So that kind of a popularity, that kind of an attraction Gandhi had only because of his simplicity, the manner in which he lives and leads a mass people. So he goes to different, different places and then he fights with Ahimsa and Satyagraha and he gets what people wanted. For example, he goes to Bihar and he fights uh, for the planters, indigo planters, and he comes to Ahmedabad, he fights for the mill owners and he goes to Delhi, he fights for people, he comes to Punjab, he fights for the uh, suppressed people. So Mahatma Gandhi becomes such a popular figure. Unfortunately, during that time, Gokhale uh, passes away. And now he is in touch, he is in contact with so many leaders, so many national leaders. Mahatma Gandhi, the name, the very name of Mahatma is known as a grand soul. That uh, title is conferred on him by 
Ramindranath Thakur, Thakur and he uh, is a big, uh, he has got a big say in the Indian politics. Not only in Indian politics, British has also respected, uh, respected him to a greater extent because Mahatma Gandhi is a strategist. He is uh, born from a, a Baniya family. He is a strategist and he is a leader. He is a mentor and he, he is a great organizer. Uh, sometimes, you know, I mean, to an extent, his uh, non violence uh, starts uh, irritating people because uh, he doesn't go with the majority. If he thinks what is wrong, he spells out that courage Mahatma Gandhi as a leader he had which some section of Indian people, especially radical Hindus, they did not like it because during that time, he was in favor of minorities. Uh, so Gandhi is a big force uh, rather during 1920 and then his popularity became popular. I mean, uh, more and more and more. This book is uh, restricted uh, only till 1920 because this book Gandhiji wrote when he was in Airwada jail in uh, in Maharashtra and uh, this book has been divided into five parts and each part has got about 40 to 45 uh, 45 chapters uh, when I read this this book is quite therapeutic now why I say this is quite therapeutic now you have to have a liking for this particular book to be very honest this book uh, came into my contact long time ago i was not matured enough to absorb the content of this particular book now very recently i started falling in love with this particular book and i took about a couple of months and then when i read this book it's really therapeutic because you are hearing from a leader everybody adores that particular leader what he wants to say and moreover each chapter is intriguing like today's uh, parlance if you say netflix you know you've got a lot of serials and episodes so one after the other how do you look forward to similarly in this book each chapter you look forward to what the mahatma gandhi is going to say so uh, this book has got a phenomenal influence on me and i'm sure this has impacted uh, billions of people of all over the world and it has influenced uh, many many leaders and it has done a lot of revolutionary things not only for India for the entire world um, let people hate him I think uh, God bless them but Mahatma Gandhi as a leader is to be reckoned with you can bring him next to uh, Jesus and Muhammad and uh, Buddha definitely has uh, got a place in that line. Mahatma Gandhi is not going to go away from us. He is going to be with us. And this book, if you think it's an ideal time for you, if you think you have matured enough to read this book, do buy this book and uh, read. This is worth it. And as I said, this, is th this has got a therapeutic effect. And if this uh, channel uh, interests you, and if you think that this review has got some meaning for you please uh, put it on the comment section what do you think about this uh, review like this um, uh, video uh, subscribe this uh, channel thank you so much